Welcome back to Drinks Made Easy. Today we're taking a look at two versions of the White Russian. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Paul, there really only is one version. The dude has it in the Big Lebowski. And you'd be right in that that is the original version created in 1949 by Gustav Topps in Brussels, Belgium. <laughs> I know, I didn't realize it was that old either. However, there was a second version that became really popular with the re-emergence of the craft cocktail movement in the 2000s-ish, where they started layering it because, let's be honest, a white Russian doesn't really look that sexy when it's all mixed up. However, when you layer it, it looks sophisticated as f before we get into the cocktail, if you haven't already, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time we release a new video. And without further ado, our White Russians. Building your standard White Russian is basically about as simple as it can get. Just adding two ounces of vodka, one ounce of coffee liqueur, in this case Kahlua, which is the most common. And right now you actually have a Black Russian. Adding one ounce of heavy cream to it, you now have a white Russian. You can either leave it layered like this, not really layered, or as most people do, give it a quick stir. Hey, voila, you have a white Russian. One even the dude would be proud of. Now to build the layered white Russian, well, same way, start with two ounces of vodka, one ounce of coffee liqueur, cap that off into a shaker tin full of ice, giving it a quick shake. Pour that into the glass of your choice. Now we're gonna layer on a little bit of heavy whipping cream that's been lightly whipped. I find using a squeeze bottle helps a lot. The main thing is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you haven't whipped it so much that it's turned into Cool Whip. Otherwise, you're gonna have just mounds of whipped cream as opposed to a nice layer. And there we have the layered White Russian. It's great. I tell you, I really prefer this style of white Russian. Now why? Because it's all the same ingredients, but I feel like you taste the coffee liqueur a good bit more um, than when the cream's already integrated. So you have kind of more of an overall arc of flavor, if that makes sense. You try it, let us know what you think. Cheers from Drinks Made Easy. 